happy to be here today in the warm and welcoming presence of faculty, staff, and guests, and in good company of my peers, who are graduating and moving forward with a new and exciting rite of passage. We each have been on our own unique educational journeys, our climb up the mountain, to receive our diplomas in higher learning. How each one of us defines ourselves from this moment will forever change us. In reflecting upon my own educational journey, I selected Antioch University <coughs> for its reputation in providing a high quality, innovative <coughs> education that focuses on the student as a whole person. Early on, Horace Mann's words, be ashamed to die until you have won some victory for humanity, resonated with me and motivated me forward with great resolve and enthusiasm to thank my education. I have come a long way from my, ma my Bachelor of Arts program, where I started off on uneasy footing. With anxiety running rapid through my veins and scared of technology like computers, and this thing called the internet. Now I am thoroughly fascinated with knowing how many friends I have on Facebook. In my undergraduate program, I quickly learned that I could no longer hide in the shadows of the back row of the classroom, quite content in my own skin, as I was immersed head on in the Antioch speaking out rituals of contributing my own voice to class discussions. I will never forget getting my feet wet in the Educational Foundations class, where I learned about Antioch's core purposes of critical and creative thinking, diversity and global awareness, holistic and personal development, competence for professional pursuits, and effective communication. These core purposes would serve as a solid foundation to transform me into a better self and prepare me well for my studies in a master's program in psychology. The most important principle central to Antioch's mission is Praxis for Social Change. It's sometimes referred to as Praxis for Social Justice. It includes the components of learning, reflection, and action. The fourth principle was very significant to me, especially as I thought how to best implement it in my training with mentally ill clients and in my work with the developmentally disabled. I discovered that to make Praxis for Social Change meaningful to me, that I had to define it more fully for myself. I knew the self-definition had to be in sync with my values of showing compassion for others. Also essential to compassion is learning how to use wisdom in a productive way. In other words, using our knowledge in a skillful way to create the most positive personal and social change Others may refer to this wisdom piece as critical and creative thinking. Practice of social change for me also means being my best self so I can be a good example for others. I found that by living my personal motto, be the change that you seek in the world, that I was more effectively able to help others change. The change in them had a ripple effect and a pay it forward approach to others in their social circles. I feel fortunate to have received a first-rate education from Antioch that has empowered me to make a difference in my community. I feel fortunate to be a member in several groups that advocate for those with disabilities at a local and state level. I know from first-hand experience as an inclusion specialist for the developmentally disabled that everyone deserves to be included, not excluded from opportunities. On a more global level, I have been fortunate to sponsor a girl from Uganda, Africa, so she can have a better life, which for her is being able to wear a dress and shoes to school, pay for her tuition and books, have the money necessary to eat a healthy diet, and perhaps most important, to increase her self-confidence and value as a human being. Through these valuable experiences of helping others, I have learned that the most precious thing about Praxis for Social Change is being able to pass a torch to others 
so that they can have a higher conscious awareness and feel empowered and live a meaningful life with fairness within the sphere of social, economic, and environmental justice. Now that I have achieved all the requirements necessary for my Master's in Clinical Psychology, I realize that my past challenges no longer define me, but only make me a stronger person and better equipped to move on to the next chapter in my life with a sense of great purpose, anticipation, and joy. At the end of our commencement ceremony, when we throw our graduation caps in the air, let us give pause for reflecting on our own unique educational journeys, our own climb up the mountain, and happily celebrate what we each have accomplished. Let us be mindful and see how humanity is part of us. There is no divide. Let us cheerfully devote ourselves to personal development and embrace the idea of being lifelong learners. Let us choose to be socially responsible, passionate, and competent in our professional pursuits. Let us choose to go beyond the ordinary and strive to be extraordinary. Thank you.